Hello, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Planner Channel. In this video, we are doing a flip through of the new Wild Styled Happy Planner, along with a setup with the dashboards, bookmarks, and a snap-in cover with Swarovski crystals on it. Let's get started. In this video, we are doing a flip through and setup of the new Wild Styled Happy Planner. It is an 18 month classic size of vertical layout happy planner starting in July of 2020. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be available in all the stores, which means you can order it from the Happy Planner. Um, possibly at some point it will be available on Amazon. You can get it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joanne. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in all of those. I'll have it all listed in the description box so that you'll know for sure where you can get it. And then I also just found the two sets of dashboards at my Joanne store. And since dashboards and bookmarks are my favorite accessory to planning, um, this time I'm just using those to set up my planner. And that's pretty much all I've been using. Um, along with a deluxe cover or a snap-in cover. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this cover. I wish you could see it in person. It has rose gold, these are rose gold discs with rose gold sparkly crystals and metallic crystals from uh, Swarovski on one of these flat back covers. It is, I haven't gotten all the little glue off of it yet. That'll peel off easy but love it. So what we will be deciding at the end is which color discs. These are the ones that came on the botanicals planner. So they're like a pinkish, um, like pinkish rose gold. These are the rose gold discs and these are the blush discs that come on the planner. So we'll have to pick between those three at the end. So first off, I wanna do a flip through of the planner starting right now and we're going to flip through the whole thing so let's start off by flipping this open so we can see and since it's an 18 month planner it has 20 and 21 on it or you could take that as 2021 if you're just going to use it for 2021 however you want to use it so but it's really 18 months half of the year of 20 and the full year of 2021 which is a amazing okay there's our happy planner family okay so let's do it let me make sure everything's in the frame year at a glance overview 2020 2021 and then recently they've been putting in these like overview at a glance pages. I started using mine for tracking exercise. So I put little stickers. Oh, where is that? Let me show you. Hold on one second. So I started to use these pages to track workouts. So you can see cardio, walk, yoga, steps on those. I love that at, to just see kind of at a glance your like exercise schedule or anything else you want to track on those pages. It's a great overview tracker. If it's not something that you need to put a lot of information, these pages are perfect. So there's the whole, hold on, go back. Oh, right, right, right. Starting in July, since this planner starts in July, the, um, the overview pages start in July. And then the full year to December, 2021. Oh, look how pretty. All right, we're gonna see this planner up close in this flip through because, so that is, rose gold and the discs are blush they're not actually rose gold which means they're like silver with kind of a tint of rose gold to them all right so here's your at a glance page let's look at that up close you have your month and year a space of dot grid a focus on list a space for holidays birthdays and dates to remember and the holidays are listed out. I like a simple currently page and I don't really use the currently page right now. That doesn't mean I won't at some point, um, but I don't really use it a lot. I don't really use it right now, but there's your currently page if you do use it. Month overview, pretty simple, not super decorated. It has one little peach note, jot it down and a peach stripe at the top. 
I'll be interested to see if every month has that. And then your weeks are plain. One little note box and the month with a little underline of peach. The rest is black and white and that's why I wanted this planner because I like to decorate with completely different color themes every single week. So a neutral planner is perfect for me. Um, some people prefer a decorated planner during the week. I like a neutral because I decorate it myself. Okay, so let's flip through this whole, there's a little quote down here. It says, feed your soul. So there are some little quotes and this is grid on the left column. Okay, let's keep flipping through a full month. So that's the same. Another little quote says, have a beautiful day. Another, the week is the same. And then currently page is the same. This has rose gold foil on this black and white. Super pretty. Okay. All right, August, same. So it has that same peach stripe up there. Neutral weeks, a couple of little tiny quotes. And it looks like the whole year is like that. That's, I just love the colors. Yes. Okay, so I guess we don't really need to flip through the whole thing because that part's all exactly the same. So we'll just look at the tabs. Now October, November, it has foil and rose gold. Love the rose gold. I was so sad because most of the planners last year in 2019, there were, there were very few rose gold ones and that's my favorite. So I was kind of bummed. I didn't get to use rose gold last year, but looks like I will get to do, use it soon. Okay, next one, this is rose gold. Isn't that just so pretty? I love the foil. Okay, January is this, um, yeah, this pattern, my eyes don't like that pattern. It kind of makes me, it's like snow. Remember on TV screens back in the day when it would have like that snow pattern? Way back in the day. February. Coco Chanel quote, don't be like the rest of them, darling. Some gold dipped leaves. March, wild and free to be me. April, ooh, that's pretty. See that foil? It says fashion fades, only style remains the same. Here, let's just look up close. So pretty. Don't you wish you could write like that? I need to keep practicing on my handwriting. I mean lettering, hand, what do they call it? Hand lettering. Always be the leading lady of your own life. Fill your heart with what's important and forget the rest. So this has a little animal print background. Oh yeah, zebra, rose gold zebra. Love that. There's your leopard without foil. More without foil, but I love the colors. Love the colors. Um, what is that, zebra? Quote. And another quote. All right, that's it. Let's see what's in the back. Wild ideas. It's cute, I like that paper. I think one of the fill papers matches that. I'm not sure which one. And then stripe inside cover. The back has matching leopard without the foil on the back, with the foil on the front. Okay, let's open up these dashboards. So this time they had two sets of wild style dashboards, some smaller ones with a bookmark and some bigger ones, uh, and I'll show you what I mean. I got both of these at Joanne. 
let's open them all. Let's open them all up and so we can compare the, the patterns and the sizes. So these both fit classic size planners. Let me take all these papers out. Oh wait, you might want you might need that to be able to see it. Where's that page? Yeah. All right, let's leave the pages then behind it. All right, so those, these, put that over here. All right, let's look at one at a time. So this one's the bookmark size. It has like that, um, let me grab this paper so you can see it. Okay, there we go. It has like that kind of peach background with the, the like matte color print with colors. Um, leopard print. That's the bookmark size. The next size up is this. Um, it's like three quarters, right? Three quarters of a page. Yeah. So this is like the first third of a page and then three, three quarters of a page. And then those are full page. So we've got one first third. Did I say? Yeah. One third of a page, two thirds. I'm talking about the width of a classic size. So this one, these two are both two-thirds width. This one is light pink with peach and pink leopard with some rose gold foil. So we have two that size, but these each have, see how the tabs are left, middle, right in that set. And then, the, and then in the other set, this is black and white, but it has some pink like splatter in there, light pink little splatter. Oh, there you can see it. Very pretty. So this one is two thirds also. So these three are the same um, size. Let's see, we could do it this way. This one, this one, this one are all the same size, but the different tabs. And then we've got one small, and then these two are the same size. And they are, let's look at this one first. This one is pink zebra with a quote. And then this one is it, it's kind of off white with leopard with our Coco Chanel quote. So that one fits a full page. This one fits a full page. <clears throat> I wonder why they did the tabs that way. So we have one left tab, let's see, one left tab small. Well, let's put the bookmark aside of these. So there's one left tab, two second tab, one third tab, and then one fourth tab this way up here. So one first tab, two second tabs, one third tab, one fourth tab. Interesting, plus the bookmark. And there are a couple more that come in some of the other accessory packs. At least one more. One or two. One in the accessory pack. I, my stores didn't have it or I would have picked it up. All right, so now let's look at discs. Okay, we have these three shades of discs. The like pinkish ones, the rose gold ones, and the blush ones. The pinkish ones are my favorite, however, I'm not sure that they're going to look right in this planner. They don't quite match with the rose gold. But let's see how they look on the inside. See, they'll look good with... Now, they'll look good with probably... Hold on, let's skip. Let's do, so, it looks good with that. Looks good with that. Looks good with this one. Hmm. I don't know. It looks, doesn't look the best with the gold. Let's see. It looks okay with the rose gold, but the rose gold discs look better. See, those look perfect. They match. However, most of the time you're working on your pages and it doesn't matter because you're just, this part will be all different colors on the inside. So, I still, I'm thinking the rose gold is gonna look the best. 
I'm pretty sure they put the blush ones because they were the most neutral. And that way, if you are using gold on the inside, they're not, they're gonna still look good. And these are a little more, you know, it's a little more rose color. So it's a little different than the gold. Maybe that's not why they chose those. So I think, I think I'm gonna go with the rose gold. Um, once July comes, I'll be using this planner with this cover and this cover and these discs, but I will most likely just be using the month of July, maybe July and August to start with. However, I think what we're gonna do is just go ahead and take it through December and put those six months in here. I chose my favorite three books, bookmarks and dashboards, which are the pink ones. So we'll pop those in, we'll pop in these pages and that'll be pretty much ready for me to finish building my Franken planner um, to start in July. I'm so excited because I love this neutral layout. Okay, let's grab the cover and I'll need another cover for the extra year for next year. And I have the happy notes on my shopping list. So when I find one of, there's, um, there's a couple happy notes, so that, but there is one that matches this. So that'll give me an extra matching cover to put on this part. Okay, so we have our six months, July through December, and our covers, front and back, new rose gold discs, and let's put in these matching dashboards. And this time it looks like they don't have that clear plastic uh, film on the back so don't you don't have to worry about it let's check this one this one seems different no it's the same so I don't think they have that anymore if I'm wrong leave a comment and tell me <laughs> but it doesn't look like it so I like to put the bookmark in my week either a bookmark or a dashboard so this will be the first week in this planner let's put it there and then each of my other plan I usually build a Franken planner which just means two or more planners built into one. And each planner, I will put one of these in it. But for now, I'm gonna put them in the back. Um, if you're just using one planner, you might want to use these to separate some paper or an extension pack. If you're using something like the budgeting pack or a wellness extension pack, there are several different ones. So one way or another, I will use those and we are all set so we have the wild style planner rose gold discs and the Swarovski crystal snap-in cover oh my gosh love it leave a comment down below and tell me which type of planner do you prefer do you prefer a planner that's neutral on the inside so that you can create your own decorative spreads or do you prefer a planner that's already decorated so that you don't have to if you'd like to learn more click the link in the description box to get your free power plan checklist check out the planner school if you're new to planning and you'd like to take a class and if you like this video be sure to subscribe share with your friends and hit that thumbs up button see you in the next video